a particle is moving along a path a b b c c d d e f f a in the presence of force f given by this find the work done on the particle by this force to solve this we just have to go to the definition of work which is nothing but f dot d r integration okay now we know the force relation which is alpha y i cap plus 2 alpha x j cap now let us uh, focus on the path let us say i want to find out the work along ab here there is no variation along y so Uh, we will not i mean there will be dy is equal to 0 the differential vector dr can be represent here as dx i cap plus dy j cap so dy will be 0 right so in this case we have to find out what will be the force i mean for f dot dr integration 0 to 1 for ab So let us find out the work done for AB. Along AB, alpha y i cap into dx. There will be no i cap because I have already integrated it. Okay. from integration uh, dx have uh, from 0 to 1 and uh, as dy is equal to 0 because there is no variation along y direction so other part i am actually omitting so i can actually write alpha here y in this range is 1 and dx is 1 so it is alpha so w1 please keep it in mind W1 will be equal to alpha. Just just let me write here. So work from A to B is alpha. Now let us consider for BC. In that case, uh, no variation along x direction. So we will just integrate from. One to point five, the second integrand dy, and it was two alpha x into dy. Here x is one. X is one. Look at here. X is one. So it will become two alpha into dy, and it is minus half. So it will become. Minus alpha. So A to B work is alpha. B to C work is minus alpha. Now let us find it for C D. For C D, uh, the integrand will be the first integrand that is alpha into y into d x. Okay, and uh, the integration will be from dx one to half. Y is point five here, so it will be alpha by two outside, and inside the integration it will be minus half. 
so the answer is alpha by 4 so this is minus alpha by 4 so uh, so This is alpha, this is minus alpha, this is minus alpha by 4. Okay, now let us consider it for this part, DE. For DE, there is no variation along X. So first integrand will not be there. It will be integration 2 alpha X into DY and integration will be from 0 0.5 y integration will be from 0 0.5 uh, sorry it will be from 0 0.5 here to here 0 0.5 to 0 so it will be 2 alpha x is uh, for here in this case x is nothing but half x is half just look at here x is half throughout the process and dy dy will be minus half so the option will be alpha by minus alpha by 2 so this is minus alpha by 2 Now let us consider e to f, okay, e to, in case of e to f, uh, you can see that the y is 0. Now the first um, uh, integrand you know is basically requires y. Alpha y into dx now whatever be the limit if y becomes 0 the dx integration whatever be the limit it will be 0 so here the work done will be 0 because of this now let us consider the last integrand from uh, 0 to i mean uh, f to a f to a for f to a this one f to a uh, the second integral will be there dy 2 alpha x okay and here also at x is 0 so it will be 0 now work is now very simple we just have to add on all these works and find out the total work for AB it is alpha for BC it is minus alpha for CD it is minus alpha by 4 and for DE it is minus alpha by 2 it will become 3 alpha by 4 and alpha equal to minus 1 so it will become 3 by 4 and you just if you just divide it will become 0.75 joule so the answer is the total work is 0.75 joule calculate it recalculate it and uh, tell me if you get the same answer or not if you like our video please like uh, subscribe comment if you have any doubt and share 
if you want to help your friends and me and stay tuned with the fee matrix